welcome to another episode of Air Gun Detectives. I'm your host, JC, and today we get to take the mystery out of the Gamo Arrow PCP. Now, this is an entry-level PCP rifle. But before we get into that, do me a favor if you hadn't already. Hit that subscribe button down there in the corner. It doesn't cost you anything. It's absolutely free, but it really helps support the channel. So I'd greatly appreciate that. Also, check out my website when you have the opportunity, www.airgundetectives.com. On that site, i got various t-shirts. I've got hats. I got my Generation 2 bipods, and occasionally I put my own personal inventory up there, and it does not last long, I'll be honest with you. It's usually gone within a couple of days. Anyway, but check that out when you have a chance. All right, let's get back to our Gamo Arrow here. This is a brand new entry-level PCP. I was actually pretty excited to try this one out. Yes, pre-charged pneumatic. Anyway, it comes in both 177 caliber and 22. This one happens to be in 22 caliber. So as I said, entry-level PCP, this is a non-regulated rifle, and it has a 125cc air cylinder with a maximum fill pressure of 232 bar, which is roughly about 3,300 PSI. It does come with the CAT trigger. It also comes with this great fiber optic sights, as you can see these, the green in the back, orange in the front. You've seen this similar setup on their brake barrels. It comes with the Whisper Fusion suppressor system, which is really quiet. I'm anxious to see how it works with the uh, PCP rifle. Also, it comes with a 11 millimeter scope rail. Now, this is all made out of polymer, so this is plastic, including the scope rail. But it seems pretty heavy duty, so we'll test that out, and we'll see how that works. It does have our male foster fitting right here on the bottom, so you can fill it. And then our gauge is right here in the front of the tank, right there, so we can determine uh, what our fill level is. The gun overall, um, it's really light. It's like five pounds. So this is not an issue as far as taking this to do a little plinking, do a little small game hunting, whatever you're going to do. It's really light. It's got a 20-inch barrel, and uh, the overall gun is 39 inches, so it's not overly big. But it's got a good looking stock. This is a nylon stock, but Gamma makes the best stocks. They're really heavy duty, kind of has this raised cheek rest here. And I love the uh, textured grip here as far as um, the stock handle goes right here. But pretty neat, textured foregrip right up here. Pretty balanced gun actually. So they actually did a good job putting this together. And then it has a little uh, butt pad here. Obviously, you're not gonna need it for recoil because there's no recoil here. But it shoulders really well and it's a balanced rifle. And there's not too many PCPs that come with open sights. And at this price point, this is right around the $200 mark. $220, right around there, you get it on sale, probably be right around $200. Bucks. But uh, this also takes the 10 round Swarm magazines. The original Swarm magazines, the 10 round magazines, this takes them. So they're very inexpensive. I think the 177 also is 10 rounds. So each of these are 10 rounds and it rotates. Uh, and you guys know how to fill those. You've seen that before. But uh, it's got, the, it's totally ambidextrous. And let me show, let me flip this around. You guys can see the cocking handle here. It's, uh, it looks like an arrow. So it cocks straight back. And this rifle indeed can be decocked. Just hold on to the bolt and then release it and slide it forward. But this is it. So when you cock it, Either side, either hand, you pull it straight back. It's kind of neat. And then just push that all the way forward. And then there's a little tab. There's a little tab right here, as you can see. So when you shove it, you just got to make sure it engages. So you, you push down and back to cock it. And then when you go forward, you go forward and make sure it clicks up and locks into place. But again, let's go ahead and decock that. There we go. All right, so let's go out and uh, test this. We'll go play with it, and then we'll come back and talk about it. So stay tuned for the next segment. All right, let's test out our Gamo Arrow for some velocity here over the Corona. We're going to just shoot some Premier hollow points, some Crossman Premier hollow points. These are a 14.3 grain, but uh, they actually perform pretty decent in this rifle. But we'll just shoot five shots, and uh, we'll see how well they perform. And then after that, I'm going to talk to you real quick about a good hunting pellet for this rifle. So let's go ahead and shoot five shots and see how we make out. All right, shot number one, 737. Shot number two, 
736. Shot number three. I don't know if that one read. It didn't. Let's do that again. Make sure we're lined up here. Shot number three. 731. Shot number four. 733 and one more. 736. Pretty consistent actually. Not bad. So you can check out the velocity there, our average velocity and our foot pounds of energy. Now another really good pellet are these H&N Hornets. And these are a 16.2 grain pellet. They have a nice point on them. You guys are probably familiar with these. But these average 703 feet per second, but we got 17.8 foot-pounds of energy. So just under 18 foot-pounds of energy is what you want for hunting. So these actually work out pretty good. All right, here you go. Let's move on to the next segment. All right, guys, let's test out our arrow for some accuracy here. Um, we're going to go ahead and shoot. This is not overly pellet picky. It does pretty good, but some pellets are better than others, and these Barracuda 18s work really good in this rifle especially uh, for the distance that we're shooting. We're also going to shoot these four inch splatter burst targets. I'll leave you guys a link down below. You know, they're great and really highlight the impact points. But the uh, reason I'm shooting from this distance, you have to remember, Stan, this is an, more of an entry level PCP rifle and it only shoots around 700 feet per second. So it's not going to be your 40, 50 yard PCP rifle. This is going to be more of a backyard uh, plinker. So let's see how well it does at 20 yards, because I think your range is going to be somewhere between 20 and 30 yards is going to be your comfortable range. So let's just see how well it groups. Go ahead and check out the distance, our usual distance that we shoot our brake barrels from, but we're going to go ahead and shoot from here. Okay, like I said, five shots, and uh, let's see how we can make this group. All right. That's one. That's two. That's three. Four. And five. Well, that's a heck of a group. Like I said, this is about that 20 yard, 25 yard rifle, but uh, not a bad group. Let's move on to the next segment. All right, let's see what type of pull weight we have on our Gamo Arrow here. These do have the cat triggers, which are pretty awesome. So let's just see how this is right out of the box. So we got our trusty Lyman trigger gauge. Let's set that, let's see what we have. One pound, 13 ounces, fantastic trigger, it really is. One pound, 13 ounces. All right, let's move on to the next segment. All right, we're gonna do a little plinking with our arrow. And I push this back to our 40 yard plinking range. It's about as far as you want this to go because honestly I can see the pellets arcing from here. But a little bit of wind. I tried a few different pellets. The Barracuda 18 seemed to work best in this. So we're just going to see what we can knock down. Wish me luck with this. Like I said, we're stretching this because don't forget this is a 700 foot per second uh, rifle. And then shooting at 18 grains, we're going to be probably in the mid sixes here. But anyway, uh, go ahead and take a quick look so you can see how far out we are. Yeah, we're going to shoot a can there. We got a little shotgun shell at the end. That'll be our little challenge at the end. So let's see how well we do. Yeah, we'll start with something big the can on the outside. There you go. All right, can we hit one of those little eggs? Let's see. Got it. I can actually see the pellet. <laughs> okay. The next little egg. Oh, it 
shot a little to the right. I can see it move. Okay, we we'll try that again. No, oh, got two for one. It's all right. Let's try the shotgun shell at the end. And let me see how well we can do. Nope. And again, like I said, this is as far out as you're going to go. Let's try the shotgun shell one more time. There we go. Got it that time. All right, and the little red egg. Nope. Actually shot where I was aiming there. Uh, there we go. All right. Again, this is a backyard plinker. This is you're not going to win any tremendous accuracy tests with this, but it's something pretty cool if you want to get into the PCP world. But anyway, let's wrap this up and we'll talk more about this. Let's wrap this up with our conclusion here. How did our uh, arrow do? Not bad. I mean, it's a $200 PCP rifle, so I think it did it did pretty well for that price point if you think about it. I mean, what are the negatives? It is what it is. It's a 700 foot per second PCP air rifle for around 200 bucks. So it's designed for backyard plinking. This is ideal for 20 to 30 yards. We stretched it a little bit to 40, which even at 40 yards, it actually did puncture this uh, can. This was the first item we shot in the plinking. So it actually did puncture the can. But um, probably some of the negatives on it, I mean, there's a lot of plastic on it. The bolt here is plastic. I don't know how durable this is gonna be in the long run. The scope rail is all made out of plastic as well. And by the way, this is a little BSA compact uh, scope that we put on here. So those are pretty cool. It actually fit quite well on here. So let's talk about um, the positives, okay? First of all, this has got to be one of the quietest rifles I have ever shot. When I first shot it, I literally thought there was something wrong with it, like, oh, it's not putting out any power, what have you, because it's that quiet. I mean, unreal. This is 100% designed to shoot in your backyard. And I'm telling you, in my backyard, I could shoot this at midnight. Nobody would even notice. Another positive is they're getting a lot of shots out of this little tank. It's a 125cc tank. So if you're one of those people that just want to get into PCPs, you could use a hand pump on this easily because it's only 125 cc's. So that's not bad. And then they really designed this so you get a high shot count. So you're not getting as much power, but you're definitely getting a high shot count. And you're kind of looking at that mm, break barrel type velocity. You're right in that 700 uh, foot per second range. So speaking of, let me, um, I charted this thing out for you guys. And I uh, want you to look at the specifics on this. So you're going to actually get about 60 shots out of this. You really are. But your first 40 shots, and I, by the way, I broke it down um, in the performance for each magazine. So as you can see, the first magazine, second magazine, all the way through the six magazines, which would be your 60 shots. So the first four magazines, you're going to average about 729 feet per second, and it's going to get you just under 17 foot-pounds of energy. That's a 16.8 with a 14.3 grain pellet. And if you look at it, for a non-regulated gun, we are pretty consistent in our velocities in those uh, first four magazines. Now, when you start going towards the end of that fourth magazine and you're stepping into the fifth magazine, your velocity starts um, dropping. And what I've noticed from about 20 yards, it drops about a half inch as far as your point of aim goes. However, it still groups pretty good. So you're still going to get some decent grouping out of that last uh, two magazines. So it's going to be perfect for plinking. Put it this way. Within 25 yards, there's not going to be a, a, a can or a small object standing in your backyard. There's no way. I, you'll, you'll hit everything, which is terrific. So they really did set this up to be, you know, a backyard shooter. Uh, what else I like about this, it comes with fiber optic sights. There's not many PCP rifles that come with open sights, and they're really good. If you guys have used the gamo sights before, you've got the green in the back, you've got the orange or red in the front, and fully adjustable, and it's a great sight picture. So it does have um, great open sights on it. It really does. So I really like the fiber optic sights. I like the fact that it takes the Swarm magazines, especially if you have a Gamma Swarm, the magazines are interchangeable. If not, these are very inexpensive and you can purchase more of them at a very low price point. Now, you're not going to win any accuracy contests with this. You're just not going to. But 
As I said before, perfect backyard plinker. If you want to go for some small game or some pest control, you're going to be set up for that. And I, again, I just have to tell you, I think it's a nice looking rifle. I love the fact that it's lightweight. It's, uh, and the stock is fantastic. It really is. And again, let's think about the price point. So how would I rate this? I think it's about a four star rifle, but because of this lower price point, I'm gonna have to give it another half. So I'm gonna give this four and a half stars. I think it deserves it for the price point. I mean, you got a 10 round magazine. I like the way it's ambidextrous. So if you're a lefty or righty, it doesn't matter. You can shoot it. So this would be perfect for your per, uh, first PCP rifle. If you wanna enter the PCP world, and you don't want to have a big investment in it, this is the way to go. And again, you can use a hand pump because of the 125cc tank. So it's not going to be overly difficult to put air in this or to keep it full. So this is a great entry level PCP. It really is. And it is fun to shoot. Something the whole family can shoot, that's for sure. It's easy to cock, uh, easy to shoot. And then again, PCP is no recoil. So anyway, I hope you enjoyed this episode of Airgun Detectives. Don't forget, this is where we take the mystery out of the air gun. And until next time, I hope you and your families are all doing well. Take care. God bless.